I can't death of the author this text and then ask you to have your own interpretations. Dissecting that's going to take a whole series by itself. He's not the first to embarrass himself. Arguably, Drickkill embarrassed himself further. It's very possible, therefore, that in the early versions of the story, William, like all Trascons, had six eyes. As a throwaway comment to describe William from some point in 97 or 98, that then became a line of dialogue I had to keep and create a new context for. The previous chapter was very exposing of Ginger, but not very revealing. Maybe a bit was added here or there, but whatever already existed was almost never deleted. And we witnessed how the two distanced themselves when they land on Earth, with William getting out and Skirnage staying in the craft. The chapter previous to the last one set up what was to have happened in the chapter before that one. This is presumably how Ginger learned of the oncoming invasion. Yes, the way that I read things out does emphasize certain emotions or motivations behind Skirnage that, in text alone, could be read a bit differently. Not to mention the cold, cool distance of his visions. And I don't go anywhere near the disturbing ideas Patrick Bateman has for the rat in American Psycho. This chapter has a lot of dialogue from pretty much the original script, back when it was originally a script and not a novel. I don't know how to help Ginger, but taking this section away hasn't helped anything. So perhaps I should just move on from that, for now. Previously, we've seen William and Skirnage in close proximity to each other in one of the small fighter craft. Death of the Author is actually getting really fucking annoying. This isn't even an ideological distance anymore, though that is certainly present. But he is mocked for something quite reasonable. I found it an interesting challenge to take this cringy dialogue without any nuance, and create new motivations. Well, the last chapter was a doozy. But he asks a relevant question. His visions are not those of a happy invasion. That line about having six eyes, though, didn't really manage to recontextualize that well, did I? It may not be helping, Ginger, but let's just look at what happened today. It's not going away. Today's is not a difficult chapter to comprehend. Notice the difference in how Skirnage speaks to William compared to new character Drickkill. Basically, what was blunt conversation about invasions, killing humans and tormenting Ginger, became three characters fronting to each other, hiding what they really felt and pushing William towards more things that he doesn't want. The timeline isn't great. It's unavoidable when I have to make one choice out of many. Yes, it's back. Skirnage's speech about halfway through this chapter really makes me wonder what would have happened were he the supreme leader instead of William. We got to see the awkward interactions that happened therein. Fuck, I'm confusing myself now. Glamorama beats me as I recall there being pages devoted to just one instant of terror. Don't let my interpretations affect yours. I'll be fucked if I know anymore. I created some weird borders for myself. At least he's an easier character to examine than Ginger. I used the early dialogue as the frame and then painted as much as I could in between. I've talked about this before, but it bears repeating. Back to William, this chapter shows the distance between William and the rest of his race. But that's the background. What about what happens in this actual chapter? Even William wants to get distance from his own self by the end of the chapter. I'm still anticipating William's arrival in the podcast. 
William's separation is very apparent now. What have I missed? I guess that's the danger with hype. Where do you think Skernach is going in this story? I've always felt that good art requires good borders. Was this podcast a bad idea? The dialogue just never changed from the very earliest versions of this story. This is a social and personal distance as well. Who is Ginger? And they are a bit of an American psycho, glamorama deep dive into one moment of horror. So, he's envisioning the invasion. I've talked about this before as well. 